Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you basically something that I've been working basically on this whole list for a long time. I have to tell you that because it's not easy that like every day you find perfumes that are similar to each other or that you can say could kind of sort of be alternatives even for each other. I don't like using the word dupes, especially because this term is used so often on the internet when it comes to like other perfumes and sometimes i feel like yes there are certain perfumes which are pretty much the, like the same scent profile to another perfume so it can be called a dupe but then there are some other times where i'm like no these are definitely not dupes for each other they might have a similar vibe but they're definitely not dupes so um any which ways in today's video i'm going to talk to you about products which are sort of similar to each other they could potentially be dupes slash alternatives for each other as well and um in case you have one and you want to try out the other some of like some of these opinions of mine could possibly be helpful for you there is a mixed bunch and this is not all I actually had like roughly seven to eight and there are a couple more that I'm going to be adding onto my list. So I thought let me do two separate videos. So I'll talk about five, um, like, I don't want to say five perfumes, but five sets of perfumes in today's video. And then the other five I will talk about in maybe like a part two video in case you're interested. So if you enjoy this video, definitely let me know down below in the comment section. But now let's jump onto this list because I have some very exciting, um, interesting perfumes to talk about so the first um, kind of pairing i want to talk about is two perfumes which in my personal opinion i have smelled samples like those tiny vial samples basically of both of these fragrances and i think that they're pretty much the same um it's not like one is a dupe for the other it's more so that if you have one i don't think you need to buy the other um because it's pretty much the same thing so I'm talking about Gabriel by Chanel and Burberry Blush. Now, Gabriel by Chanel, I feel like is more popular on the internet, whereas Burberry Blush might not be as popular. But again, I'm pretty sure that the price point of these two perfumes is going to be different. I should have done a little bit of more thorough research on the price points, but just by the brand name and the availability, I can tell you that it is going to be a little bit easier for you to find Burberry Blush and it's probably also going to be a little bit more affordable. I'm going to pop up the pictures along with the prices of both the perfumes on the screen for you to be able to tell which one is more affordable and which one is more expensive or if they are the same and um you can make up your mind but the only reason why i wanted to mention these two is because i easily feel like if you have one you don't need the other because that's how similar they are you will just end up having duplicates in your collection so if you already have one and you've been hearing a lot about the other don't really worry because you already have what you need you don't need to buy the same perfume two times especially when it's like a high-end luxury price point so yeah that's the reason why i wanted to mention these two Moving on next to another designer fragrance and this is Ellie Saab Girl of Now. Now there are a couple of versions of Girl of Now. There is the original which I will be talking about along with the Girl of Now Forever. They also have Girl of Now um, Shine which I do want to try out and see how it differs to these two. So maybe next time I can do like a comparison of all three. But because I've tried out the original and I've tried out Forever, I can tell you that for, uh, the original one is more so the one that I really really love. It's one of my favorite favorite scents and I have spoken about how uh, in the future at some point in my life I want this to be my signature scent uh, I'm not there yet but when I will be this is definitely one that I'm gonna buy a full bottle of and make it my signature scent whereas forever I actually did not like I have worn it a couple of times and I tried to fall in love with it but it's way more green now the opening is similar for both of them but um, once they start drying down forever like starts turning a little bit more green which i don't really like the way it smells on me i don't like the scent of it whereas the original smells super warm super comforting um definitely sweet so if you're not into sweet fragrances i don't think you will be liking this but if you like sweet fragrances i think you will absolutely love this and you should definitely check it out at least buy a decan or like smell it in a store if you can. I haven't really seen this fragrance a lot like in store, but a lot of retailers on Instagram do sell it and they sell the original one. So I would suggest you can buy a decan first. I bought my decan from Anissa, um, which I will leave her page link down below. I feel like in half of my perfume videos, I have to mention her page. 
and she has a ton of decants i'm pretty sure she does have the decant of this one still live on the page so you can go and check that out but yeah for the original one is my favorite forever it was not really meant for me so there is that moving on next we have another chanel fragrance and i kind of have like an alternative to share with you like i said i don't want to use the word dupes but i'm talking about coco mademoiselle by chanel which was a very 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 ultra popular fragrance and surprisingly i don't actually like coco mademoiselle that much because i feel like it's just not my vibe it's a little bit too floral for me personally but it could be an absolutely amazing signature scent for a lot of people um just a more mature crowd and a crowd that likes a different scent profile i feel like would really really love this scent but i do have like an affordable alternative to share with you for this particular fragrance which i would highly recommend you check out so if you've heard of the brand adi veda naturals i have spoken about them quite a few months back on my channel and i got like a like a sample set um of their perfumes from amazon um i will list it link it down below again um uh, in the description of this video as well but in that particular set there is this fragrance called womania which to me basically smells very very similar i don't want to say it smells the same so i'm just going to say it smells very very similar to coco mademoiselle by chanel and it's like what 100th of the price i'm pretty sure or maybe like 1/10th of the price um if you buy the full size that is the 100 ml bottle which is going to cost you somewhere close to like 500 rupees whereas i mean coco mademoiselle will obviously cost you way to like way more money even if you're buying the 50 ml or the 100 ml whatever that might be it's going to definitely cost you way 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 more money so um yeah but i would suggest personally again like i said i don't want to call them dupes but i want to ask you to first try womania if you have never tried out coco mademoiselle before um get womania first try it out see if you like it see if you like the scent profile and then if you really want to splurge and add like a chanel perfume to your collection and you wanted to be coco mademoiselle then maybe you could go ahead and try out coco mademoiselle like that's what i feel like i would suggest even if like to myself also i would say the same thing which is why I'm going to suggest the same thing to you guys as well. I think that would be a good route to go for. Moving on next, we have a perfume that has been in my collection for a long 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 time. Um and I still do have a bottle of it but I don't really wear it. Um and I would probably declutter it and give it to like someone else. I'm talking about Avon Emari Seduction. I've spoken about this perfume for years and I have loved it. I just think I have kind of like outgrown the scent uh at this point because I've worn it for so long. I'm kind of like I don't want to say bored, but I just kind of feel like I'm done with it. But when I was wearing it, I did find another perfume that I feel like is kind of similar to it. Um and the reason why I wanted to mention these as alternatives is A because I feel like Avon is not as easily accessible because of the whole MLM um you know structure that they have going on to their brand and that's the business model that they follow along with that i know the mlm um system kind of gets a bad name and a bad rap in the industry per se and i understand where people are coming from i feel like i kind of understand both the um, you know angles of it and being a former avon representative myself i actually don't feel like i've personally had a very bad reputation like not bad reputation bad experience uh, per se so for that reason i kind of feel bad you know saying anything negative but i don't want to get into that whole um, aspect of it in this video all i want to tell you is that i completely understand that it can be uh, like not a very accessible product per se because of that whole thing uh if you don't know someone who's a neon representative uh then you might not be able to get your hands on this perfume which is why i want to recommend the alternative in my personal opinion and i feel like both of them are a very similar scent profile i'm talking about plum orchid me not uh this particular scent i have owned in the body mist version and that's how i smelled it and that's how i realized that okay these two scents are actually pretty damn similar to each other now i did use up my entire body mist of orchid me not and i will tell you that uh just like avon and mari seduction this is a scent profile that because i have outgrown i will not be repurchasing but they are pretty similar to each other and um i have found that 
even though i do not like this particular scent on myself anymore a lot of times i have found that people around me are wearing plum orchid me not and i end up giving them compliments that oh you smell amazing and then later on when they tell me that they're wearing plum orchid me not i'm like oh okay so you know that's my that's my reaction when someone tells me that so um yeah for that reason i think this is a beautiful scent and you should definitely check it out if you get the opportunity to do that um so yeah that was that moving on next we're going to end with the last um I want to say three perfumes basically because I feel like these are all very very similar to each other. Uh I'm talking about like I'll tell you the first fragrance that I'm going to be speaking about and that is Giorgio Armani Cold Cashmere. Now this is a perfume that I've heard tons and tons and tons of people talk about for years but I never got the opportunity to try it out until recently and when I did I realized that this particular scent is very 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 similar to one of my favorite all time scents and that is Bombay Paisley uh that I got from West Side a long time back at this point I've used up my whole bottle I've finished it and of course uh West Side kind of like swaps out their perfumes i want to say every year or so uh which is why it's of course not available anymore and coincidentally giorgio armani code cashmere i also believe has been discontinued you can find just the original code but you cannot find code cashmere i believe but if you can and if i could i would definitely get my hands on it immediately just because i definitely do miss bombay paisley a lot and um i ended up finding another perfume which i feel like is very very similar to bombay paisley and code cashmere and i'm talking about zara femme now zara femme is again supposed to be like a dupe of a designer high end fragrance i don't know which fragrance they're trying to dupe but i can tell you that um uh, Zara Femme definitely reminds me a lot of Bombay Paisley as well as Code Cashmere by Giorgio Armani so yes that one is definitely a lot more affordable and i also find that this particular like zara fragrance to be a uh, long lasting as well some of the other fragrances are not as long lasting which is disappointing but this particular one actually i feel like gives me like a good wear time and a good longevity which is great so Yeah for that reason I would highly um recommend you check it out of course you can go to a store and smell it but the fragrances themselves are also pretty affordable so I feel like uh you know I mean that could possibly be a risk you're willing to take even though I would not recommend it because it would be wasteful if you don't end up liking it either which is so any which ways i feel like that was all the fragrances that i wanted to talk about in today's video of course i have a lot more to share with you that i will definitely do very very soon so stay tuned for that but that's going to be it for this video i really really hope that you found it helpful and of course um i will be listing and linking everything that i mentioned in this video down below in the description box so in case you're interested in checking any of these perfumes out you can go ahead and click on those links and do that but yeah That's pretty much going to be it for this video. Thank you so 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 much for watching you guys. Until next time. Bye. Bye bye.